Hi, this is Mikhail Bardavid for CGTN. Right now we're in Osh, Kyrgyzstan, and we're going to be talking about some Chinese investments in Kyrgyzstan. Now, first of all, I want to tell you why we're doing this. This is a special time for, especially for Kyrgyzstan and China, but also for a lot of uh, Central Asian countries, because this is the time where the heads of state of the SCO, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, are coming together. The summit is going to be taking place on June 13 and 14 in Bishkek. Uh, this is, of course, a very important important meeting for the heads of state of the SEO as they will be talking about um, ways to increase cooperation in the region, to increase stability in the region, to increase prosperity for all the countries in the region. Uh, and the heads of state are going to be discussing ways to do this, trying to find new strategies to increase the cooperation between these countries. One of the main topics of on the agenda of the SEO meeting is also going to be to boost security um, regarding regional anti terrorism, uh, extremism, separatism. These are the three forces uh, that they are going to be trying to combat. So uh, the SCO heads of states will be discussing this topic as well. They will also be talking, of course, uh, to find ways to increase economic cooperation. And what they really want to do is to find ways to, to find projects that can help increase cooperation when it comes to financial issues and economic cooperation, but so that they are also beneficial for the people of the countries. This is something that the Chinese president has been emphasizing over and over again in his speeches because this is what he really wants to create. He wants to create win-win situations for the member state countries. So for Kyrgyzstan and for China, this here, um, we are standing in one of the examples of this win-win situation investment. China has been investing heavily in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, so we're going to be talking about one of these investments of China in Kyrgyzstan. We're in Osh, one of the main cities of Kyrgyzstan, and we're standing in the Osh Clinic Hospital. I'm going to invite my guests and my producer as well. First of all, thank you very much for joining me, Mr. Kulich Mama Sharipov, the Deputy Director of the Hospital, and Dmitry Kabak, who is our producer and who will be translating our interview with Mr. Kulich. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go our small uh, journey. Okay, so um, before we walk on this journey, just to give a brief description about this hospital, this is the, um, we are in Osh right now, and can you just give us a little bit of information about the hospital that is behind us? Построена за счет гранта Китайской Народной Республики, общая сумма, стоимость которой составляет 25 миллионов 700 тысяч долларов. В основном больница состоит из трех основных корпусов. Это амбулаторный, лечебный и административный корпуса. So we are here in the, in the uh, OSH clinic hospital. Uh, the pouch budget is more than 20 million dollars. Um, the uh, hospital consists of three blocks, mm -hmm. uh, one clinical, another administrative, and, uh, um, and uh, treatment. Mm -hmm. And administrative. Uh, and okay. So this is basically the, the budget that you're talking about is the budget that was provided by the Chinese government to support the building of this um, beautiful hospital. Um, Скажите, какой бюджет в основном кто предоставил на то, чтобы эта клиника появилась? Клиника, как я уже выше сказал, она полностью построена за счет китайского гранта, безвозмездного китайского гранта, на общую сумму 25 миллионов 800 тысяч долларов. The hospital is fully funded by China uh, using the grants of uh, 25 million dollars. Okay, wonderful. So uh, you want to give us a tour of this hospital, I think? So we are going to be walking towards the hospital. Um, let's get inside and see where we're going. Uh, if we can just walk with us. Okay, so um, just to give an understanding uh, to our viewers uh, who are just joining us, we're going to be talking about the investment of the 
of the Chinese government. Um, this is a hospital that is funded by China. Uh, so it's, it's one of the examples that the China and Kyrgyzstan is cooperating when it comes to uh, economic cooperation and creating beneficial programs for the people of those countries. So let's just walk uh, towards the building. Um, and if you can walk from in front of us, okay. So this is the hospital, the Osh Clinic Hospital. Um, and right now we're entering. And I just want to say that even the entrance just shows you that it's very well kept. Uh, the building is a very beautiful building. It's very centrally located and easy to reach uh, right now this hospital. When we came here, uh, it was very easy to reach this hospital. Now, uh, Mr. Kulic is the deputy director of this hospital. Where would you like to show us? What would you like to show us? хотим показать для начала вот, отделение экстренной медицинской помощи, где оказывается медицинская помощь экстренно поступившим больным с различными травмами и с различными патологиями. First of all, we'd like to show the uh, department of the urgent medicine, where the people appear when they have some uh, emergency situation. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay, go. so follow us. Okay. Здесь у нас регистрационная где производится э, прием больных, а также э, заводится электронная история болезней. И дальше по электронной системе они перекидываются в соответствующее отделение, где врач может в любое время открыть и посмотреть, this а также отрегулировать лечение. And uh, the case, uh, so any doctor has access to the database mm -hmm. where all the tests and other notes are actually registered. Okay, great. So let's move on. This is the first place that you're going to visit if you come to this hospital. Basically, he's saying that doctors have access and patients come there and uh, are greeted with the hospital staff in the beginning. Okay, so what is special about this hospital? Скажите, что есть специального в вашей больнице? Особенно. То особенного. Ну, особенностей здесь много для именно для медицины нашего нашей страны. То есть здесь операционно оборудовано по современному, то есть современные операционные, современные аппараты, которые необходимы для оперативного вмешательства больным с различными патологиями. Uh, there are many special things in this hospital. First of all, the special equipment that uh, allows us to treat and make some specific operations that were not previously available here in Osh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically this hospital provides new, um, new procedures for the people in Osh that were not available uh, before this hospital was being built. And um, when we were talking to the when we were talking to the uh, director of the hospital, he was also mentioning that um, before this hospital had been built, uh, people had to go to Bishkek for uh, many procedures that they could not find at Osh. Is that correct? Да, правда ли то, что до строительства и открытия этого госпиталя многие граждане с юга Кыргызстана должны были ехать в Бишкек, чтобы получить там процедуры или обследования или операции? Есть и такие моменты, да, по некоторым нозологиям, по некоторым болезням, заболеваниям. Uh, медицинские услуги высокого качества оказывались в основном в нашей столице в городе Бишкек. А с открытием этой клиники и с оснащением, и плюс тем оснащением, которое будет в будущем, мы вполне можем составить конкуренцию для данных клиник. So in some illness, um, the, it's the correct situation, so we were not able to provide such services here. But keep in mind the current level of high technologies used in our hospital, and also keeping in mind the further development, we will be quite competitive uh, to the uh, uh, hospitals in, in Bishkek City. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so... Can you give us some examples of where you want to show? Uh, you mentioned there are some new technologies that are coming to this hospital. Можете нам сказать, что вы хотите показать? Вот вы упомянули о каких-то новых технологиях, которые использованы в вашей больнице. Да, я могу показать, но там уже закрыли специалисты ушли. 
Actually, the working hours of that particular uh, part of the building and the hospital uh, just closed. Yes. Okay. So, can you describe what it was? А можете вы описать тогда, что там существует, что относится вот к этому высокотехнологичному оборудованию или, или процедурам? Высокотехнологичному оборудованию и процедурам мы можем отнести тот факт, что в этой клинике мы начали уже новый вид лечения при помощи ЭГД-скопа, эзофагогастродуэдоноскопа, перекрытие вен пищеводных которые расширяются при э, различных заболеваниях, то есть таких как цирроз печени. Э, затем э, с прибытием новых аппаратов, как МРТ, КТ и ангиографа, мы планируем внедрение уже эндоваскулярных методов лечения э, сосудистых патологий различных областей. So we are able actually to treat some uh, pathologies and also we can block some uh, bleedings inside or to open um, additional capacity for blood. Mm -hmm. So in this operation, uh, actually done with the high technology equipment. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, so can you show us there was a one room with a special um, equipment that was being connected to the head, um, I think with the neurons. Можете вам показать вот комнату, где есть какое-то специальное оборудование для изучения вот как мы поняли или или это колебания головного мозга mm -hmm. или может конечно есть это... ультра эгдескоп кабинет электроцефалографии or is there a procedure going on right now yeah. sorry the, the doctors are having a discussion right now yes uh, what это находится в другой части как нет здесь же она закрыла уже что ее рабочее время кончилось since this uh, special actually specialist they have the uh, working hours uh, before the current time. Okay. That's why you had a chance to actually film them in the morning. I understand. Okay, so unfortunately we're not able to show you the specialty uh, part of the hospital, but uh, because of the working hours that has changed right now, um, that is not available to show you at this moment. But there was some very high technology going on right now in this hospital that they were going to show us. Is there some, somewhere else that you would like to show us? Yes, uh, we can show you the operational actually okay. block. Let's go and see the operational block of the Osh Clinic Hospital here. Это okay. операционная комната для экстренно поступающих больных различными хирургическими патологиями. Здесь я что хочу именно сказать, то что вот, именно операционная сама, она сейчас уже соответствует мировому стандарту. То есть вот эти покрытия, пола, покрытия стены, э, операционные лампы освещения, они полностью могут э, соответствовать нынешнему стандарту. So this operational room is equipped with a specific actually uh, equipment and also it has um, special lights and you see like a table, operational table and uh, also the surface uh, has some antibacterial uh, materials. So and this is actually uh, meets the highest uh, modern standards in medicine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, one of the highest standards in Kyrgyzstan, I guess, right now. Um, is there somewhere else that you wanted to show us right now? Okay. I'm trying to check the specialist who are responsible for some of the issues. Okay, so let's follow them and see where they're going. So just to give you a recap of what, where we are right now and why we're doing this discussion. Basically, this is a um, hospital in Osh, in Kyrgyzstan, uh, that um, is part of the uh, investment from China to Kyrgyzstan. Uh, this is part of the economic cooperation between the two countries, and it's a great example to show uh, what kind of benef beneficial programs there are in um, Kyrgyzstan with the uh, benefits of the Chinese investments here. And they, this is part of also our coverage for the Shanghai Cooperation Organization um, 
right now because there's going to be a summit taking place on June 13 and 14 in Bishkek where the heads of state of the SCO are coming together to find ways to increase cooperation, increase regional stability, increase economic cooperation. Um, and this is just one example of two countries, two SCO member countries cooperating and creating projects that are beneficial for uh, both the people of that country. So um, did you want to show us somewhere else? В котором стоит аппарат под названием Доплерограф, который может показать патологию сосудов различных областей. В частности, здесь Доплерограф стоит для изучения патологии сосудов головного мозга. Транскраниальный Доплерограф. So there is a special uh, equipment which is called Doplerograph, and uh, it uh, shows the uh, pathology of uh, like in of okay. 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 Yeah. All right, so we're seeing the pathology, uh, which is also, of course, very interesting and very important for people. Um, this is Mr. Kalicha Mama Sharipov, who is the deputy director of this hospital. He's giving us some valuable time right now. He's very busy. He's also a neurosurgeon, so um, it's actually very difficult to find time with him at this moment. So we're to see what he Okay. So, what are we seeing here? Что мы здесь видим? Этот аппарат называется Доплерограф. У него есть свои датчики, которые передают на экран состояние сосудов различных органов, а также имеется датчик транскраниального доплерографа, то есть может показать состояние сосудов именно головного мозга. Что было первое, подскажите еще раз, напомните. Difficult to translate medical terms. Yes, go ahead. Of and the uh, pathology inside the brain. Okay, so and this is your department, right? Yes. Okay, so th this is something that's very, very critical when it comes to neurosurgery. Um, it's it's very difficult and it's very detailed and very technological. So I think this, this kind of equipment is especially important for you and your patients? This equipment is not particularly unique for you or in comparison with other countries, like the European Union. The technology of the equipment that is now available for you, if you compare it with other countries or regions, is it unique in general? That's a very difficult question. Uh, it's a bit complicated to compare with other countries, yeah. but it's very uh, new one and modern for Kyrgyzstan. Exactly. That, that's what I'm trying to say. So for, for Kyrgyzstan, this is something that's very um, delicate and very highly technological. So for the people in Kyrgyzstan, this is some, it's very valuable to have this kind of uh, equipment and to have this kind of doctors come together with these equipment and provide this kind of medical care. То есть для граждан Кыргызстана наличие такого оборудования очень ценным, потому что они получили доступ к нему и могут теперь его применять для да, да, да. лечения. Вы абсолютно правы. You're absolutely right. Okay, so basically what we're trying to explain here is that um, although this might seem just like an empty room, this computer, uh, not a com it's not a computer, this screen is connected to a very highly sophisticated equipment which provides some very special medical care that was otherwise not available to many people here in Osh. But with this kind of investment from China and with the um, highly uh, strategic cooperation between the two countries, this kind of equipment and this kind of medical care is now available for the people in Osh. Therefore, it's very valuable for the people here living in Osh. Uh, and I think that's uh, what he's been telling us. Uh, very precious to have this kind of equipment and this kind of a hospital here in this city, right? Yes, absolutely. This is 
absolutely what he was trying to tell us before. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't really want to take too much of your valuable time. I know he's, uh, the other doctors behind us are trying to pull him away and explain that uh, we don't have too much time. So uh, I just want to emphasize here that uh, we really thank you. Uh, we appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us and um, giving us a, tour, a very short tour of this hospital trying to give us an idea um, to understand that here in Osh, it's not very common to see this kind of sophisticated um, medical equipment, medical uh, care taken in hospital, but with this cooperation, we're seeing um, some services that was not available before in Osh. People had to go to Bishkek, for example. They had to travel all the way to the capital, Bishkek, to receive this kind of care. But now, because of this hospital, uh, he was explaining to us that this hospital now allows the people here in Osh, Kyrgyz people, to uh, receive such care, receive great care from such um, trained uh, medical experts in such a um, wonderful facility. So thank you very much for taking the time with us. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Спасибо Thank you. Спасибо. Dimitri, thank you very much for also translating. I know it's thank difficult you. with medical um, but, terms. Uh, maybe there is one comment that uh, in the south of Kyrgyzstan, we have a half of the population of entire country. That's a very good point. Uh, so, um, for a lot of the people actually in Kyrgyzstan, this is a very central location to travel to when it comes to medical care. Okay. And by road or by car, it takes uh, 10 to 12 hours to get to Bishkek, or uh, one um, hour by plane, <coughs> which is comparing to the local income is uh, expensive. Mm -hmm. So instead of traveling all the way there, this actually makes it a very good location for a lot of people here in this part of the country. Correct. All right. Thank you so much for making that addition as well. So this was just a brief, um, just a brief description of how uh, economic cooperation between SEO countries can really be beneficial. And this is just a small example with this Osh Clinic Hospital. So thank you very much for joining us today. I'm Mikhail Bardavid for CGTN. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.